Number Washington one, State Detroit. will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. Scrambling around. And he's going to be sacked. The defenders played the snap count perfectly found the pass into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away he's got to throw it in a hurry he's out to the 30. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. They had a long, long way to go, and the receiver managed to just get enough to pick up the first down. And he's tackled after the positive yardage. The tailback picks up six there on the misdirection. the 47 so he keeps it and he gets a big first down the quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch he saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game and they make the stop the 32 yard line there was a defender right in his face that time you have a great concentration by the receiver to come away with this ball nice job They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. Let's get out of the field for the official call. Offside, Offside. Defense. defense. They got across the line a bit too soon. Give the quarterback some credit here for using his cadence to draw the defense offsides. From the 27-yard line, first down. 395. Easy, easy, easy. Buffalo, Buffalo. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's taken down right around the 20. First down grab by the receiver. They get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Gets out to around the 12. One and score. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 77-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 7-0. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays 
over the weeks. But the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have these tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. That'll make it second and inches. It's our time. It's our time. There's a strike complete. Brought down at the 47-yard line. A pass like that is so hard to defend because the defender doesn't have a great play on the ball unless it's underthrown. It's all based on connection between the quarterback and his receiver. The laid hand off, and he's not going to get back to the line. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what? That was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. So it's second and 14. Ball on their own 43. And it's caught. And he's tackled around the 47 yard line. That's a game of 10 on the play. Third down. The halfback with a carry. He's gobbled up in the backfield. They couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. Well, I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. Oh, excellent punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Touchdown, Cougars! So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. Washington State to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 22. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. Well, this is where we're really going to find out how this team can rebound and what kind of leadership that they have. You know, the last time they were out there, they took... Looking right, intercepted! <laughs> he telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. From the 16-yard line, first down. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and down he goes, right around the 12-yard line. That brings him second and five. Check, 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 go! That makes it first and goal. Rose had a man wide open and he missed it. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the six yard line. who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. And he tacks on the extra point. And 
it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. He's scrambling. He's on the run. Steps out of bounds at the 29-yard line. wasn't decisive at all in that option, and once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 26-yard line. Three down, three down. Check four. He's got back to his tight end. Tackle at the 29. So the defense will hold them as they go three and out. Picture perfect defense on that drive. That's what the defensive coordinator wants to see every single time. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And they push him out at about the 35. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now, it's really paying off. It's second and ten. Ball on the 35. Washington State is up seven. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. On the draw, tackled in the backfield. Loss of two by the halfback. From their own 46-yard line, second down. Fires out to his wideout. He's at the 40. Tackle made at the 34. That's good for a gain of 20 yards. That makes it first and 10. And he throws right away. Great concentration to pull it in. He hits the PAT. A five-play, 65-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So the score now, 21-7. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. That's a great tackle at the 36-yard line. The 49. Great touch by the quarterback. Floating that one right into his hands. That takes some skill. He's wrapped up for the sack. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. Roger, Roger. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. 
so no second. Run, 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 run. Here's the halfback. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fires to his tight end, nothing doing. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Goes quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Braddy drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. From their own 16-yard line, it's second down. He's got it with room to run. With the catch. Gain of eight yards. That'll bring up 32. Gets to about the 27-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 31. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Quick throw. Call it a gain of four yards. Third down. Got an opening. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Check, check He airs it out. And he's hit immediately. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Go! End zone! Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown! So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After, After review, review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the, on the field, field stands. stands. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's been an impressive game by this linebacker, Kirk. Well, Brad, the, the coaches just rave about this kid's work ethic and intensity. This kid seems to be really the heart and soul, really the pulse of this defense. I'm going to slide my offensive line and my protection towards him to be able to try to take him away and do anything to try to mix up my looks for him. And he's done all of this in the first half. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled around the 29-yard line. That's a deal. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. 
So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. They'll bring him down right around the 30. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. Booming kick. Tackle made at the 24. Washington State's offense is just clicking on all cylinders here be right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Throws it to the outside. This one will fall incomplete. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 24. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 36. Gain of 12 on the play. First down. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws completely stopped immediately. Four yards on that play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. He's in trouble. Throws this one out to the right. He's at the 40. Another catch. Brought down at the 33. That'll push him over the 100-yard mark in receiving. I think the quarterback and this receiver right now are clearly in the zone. The defense needs to do a better job of adjusting their defense to be able to slow him down. He now has over 100 yards receiving in this game. And we've still got time left here in the second quarter, so this kid could really end up with a big game. That makes it second and six. Let's go! He's on the run. And they get the sack. Well, I think the linebacker here does such a good job of disguising his blitz. As a linebacker in college football, one of your biggest responsibilities is being able to get to the quarterback. And that time, he timed it up perfectly, was able to get through the offensive line and put the pressure on the quarterback. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. And he's tackled at about the 29-yard line. It's up, looks long enough, and it's good! Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He's taken down at the 38. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 38. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Let's it fly. 
Pulls it in. First down, and he's not going to bounce. First and ten. Ball on the 40. 51, Mike. Mike 51. And he is drilled at the 48. They've been all over this quarterback today. The pass protection has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and to cause him some problems. Deep ball, laying it out there. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. So at the end of the half, the Cougars in front, 31-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Exciting first half there. It seemed like every time you turned around, there was another big play. Both of these offenses coming up with yards and chunks, and it, it's really paid off for them in the first half. Yeah, and uh, it, it's one thing for offenses to execute and, and get little plays here and there and continue drives, but it's really nice when you hit home runs. It's really nice to make it simple and say, all right, we're going to get about 50 right here. We're going to get about 30 right here. You know, the offense came simple. Uh, you know, great job playmakers making plays, breaking tackles, you know, spinning off players, making big, making big gains. You know, listen, it makes offense very simple. There's no secret to it. If you got all explosive offenses that can do this and can get big chunk plays they're going to score a lot of points every single game david and i will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio the best seat in the house belongs to brad nestler in kirk Herb street all right reese and david welcome back everybody just about set to start the second half he kicks it off and he got all of that one and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now, they practiced all week this week, and they told us yesterday, Brad, that they felt pretty good about what they put in, the plan that they had. And I think now that you see them playing today, it's no wonder they felt so good. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That'll, That'll make it second in inches. inches. They'll spread the field with five wide. And down he goes at the 39. Gain of four on the play. First down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 39. Here goes out. 648. And he's leveled at the 46. Number three with the tackle at the 46 yard line. First down. Right now, Tackle right around the 36 yard line. That's good for the game. Ten yards. That brings up second and one. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. Third and five. Ball on the 41. Go! 629! Alert! Steamer! Steamer! Alert! Steamer. Gets it. He's in space. That's a game of eight on the play. That makes it first and ten. ten. He's into the open field. 
gets out to around the 25. And that sets them up with a first and goal. Number 34. Two times, two times. Let's get that ball, D. Let's get that ball. That makes it first and goal. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. He makes the PAT. Washington State is lining up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. It's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. That'll make it second and seven. Caught open field. He's at midfield. And he's taken down at about the 35. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Watch the slip. Watch the slip. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He airs it out. And it's going the other way. It's the freshman corner. I think that interception pretty much sums up this whole game. The throw was lousy, and the defense simply stepped up and made yet another play. First and 10, ball on their own 20. Washington State looking to add to this big lead here. Got it, complete, he's out of bounds. I love the blitz, but the quarterback did a really good job of seeing it and reading it, and then standing tall in the pocket to find his man for the first. He goes out of bounds at about the 41. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. made at the 47. Gain of six on the pass, and that's good for a first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. That's a great tackle at the 46-yard line. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. They'll make the sack. Well, they sent the quarterback, and he was able to make the sack. The offensive line was just too slow to pick him up. By the time they saw him, it was just too late. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. Take go! 
Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That'll bring up fourth and five. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Yeah, they're dialing up some good blitzes, disguising them very well. This aggressive defense has enjoyed multiple sacks tonight. It takes a good all-around effort to beat a team that's favored, and that's what we've been seeing so far. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Fires up to his receiver. They'll line up with five wide receivers. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled right away. He's out of bounds around the 35-yard line. Sacked on the play. They simply have too much speed for this offensive line. They're just too quick off the ball. So that sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. They come out in a five wide set. short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, this is an example of this quarterback just really being able to go out and show his competitive spirit. And each time he plays, he puts that out on display. I think his play has upped the level of the entire team, and they're in position to score an upset. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Washington State looking to put this game away if they score here. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's tackled at the 28. We head to the fourth quarter, and we didn't see this coming. 38-7, Cougars. Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I are praying. He lets it go. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. That'll bring up fourth and nine. And this one is a beauty. He's tackled at the 23.
early in the fourth quarter, and this one we know is over. It's an opportunity for some subs to play on one side and maybe to play for pride on the other. And they make the stop at about the 21. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 21. Five wide. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Gets it off as he's hit, complete. And he tackles him hard at the 33-yard line. So they're going to try and determine exactly where the ball was when he went down. So the booth is trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. After, after review, review the, play, the play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field, field is, is reversed. reversed. So after review, they'll change the spot of the ball and we'll play football again. From their own 33-yard line, it's first down. Mike 13, Mike 13. 59 Philly, 59 Philly. They come out in an empty backfield. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. Fumble, and no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. From the 47-yard line. First down. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled around the 48-yard line. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Slings it. They'll bring him down at the 34. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. That'll bring up second and 11. Quick throw. Jed's one tackler. And they push him out around the 31-yard line. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. Less than three minutes in the game. Fires out to his wideout. Drop down at the 27. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Here he goes. Up the middle for a nice game. In the shotgun and five wide out. He's taken down around the 12 yard line. Here's play number 14 of this drive. Nice run up the middle. Throws 
complete. He's got space to work. And down he goes at the three-yard line. Well, they're not going to win it, but they're still playing hard out there. So they run the option to perfection for the score. It's a great job by the quarterback to read the defense. He made a nice pitch to the running back. Let him go in for six. And he converts the extra point. to put this one away. Yeah, but give them credit. They played hard today. They just didn't catch the lucky breaks they needed. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He's on the run. There's a very impressive open field tackle. From the 30-yard line. First down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He makes it to the 28-yard line. That makes it second and eight. away here on third down. Washington State staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happier. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Curb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.